Yeah, mm. this one, this one. You should do a bit like, do a bit like you. Is it? No, no, no moustache, no beard. Right? You see, you see, like you, you smile. Okay. This is. Uh... Good AM. Uh, hi, my name is Andrew Ong. I am still jobless, uh, which is why I'm here at Jumbo Seafood to hopefully uh, hook a job. Because you know, when there's uh, opportunities, you have to crab it. See you inside. Oh, why am I like this? Uh, yeah, I just, I just came five minutes ago. You, eh? You, you, you're here for a job? Mm. Is, is, that, is, is that the end? Can I go in? Okay. Hi, Mr. Ang. Hello. Yeah, you look very tense. Relax. Do I look tense? Yeah, yeah, you're very tense. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, it's a joint interview. Like. I've been, I've been oh, unemployed very long. <laughs> uh, so, can you tell me how did Jumbo get started? It started with my father mm. and uh, father's friend. Right in 1987, they are foodie. La. They mm. like to eat. Instead of uh, eating, outside, spend money, myself, opened a restaurant. Ah, so back, back then, were you already selling the like, chili crab and, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, now I'll be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Want to start? I prepare some chili crab for you. No, no, no. no. I, no I, I'm, I'm here for, for a job interview. I, not not, not oh, appropriate. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, how, how to eat this part? What, what, mm. what part is this? You crack the body, okay? Yeah. Crack, no, no, here. You crack it oh. first. Ah, oh, then yeah. you open up. Oh, Yeah, then okay. you open up. You know, Jumbo like, has always been seen as a like, must-visit place for tourists mm -hmm. or, or like big gatherings. How do you feel about that, like now? That's our advantage. And also it's our disadvantage. Yeah. So, like this point in time, we suffer a lot because of that. So do you regret that, that positioning that Jumbo? No, no, no regret. I think in, the, in this process, we learn a lot of things, mm. right? We learn to be not to put too many crabs in one basket. So besides the tourism basket, the celebrative market, mm. we will address more domestic market also. Mm. Basically, we're addressing pockets that we are not uh, addressing mm. in the past. We focus on tourist, convention, right. company business, company function, mm. you know? I see the way you, you think it's also like eating a crab. La. Last time you, you uh, but now you, you dig into all the small spaces and, and find the meat. Oh, very good menu. What should you do if you get pinched by a crab? My grandmother told me mm. you have to wait for the thunder to strike. Bah, then the crab will let go. Really? Yeah, that's a chuan suo la, mm. legend. La. What if you get bitten by a crab but there's no thunder but you go YouTube search thunder sound? I don't know. <laughs> Never try. You let me know. What are some pros and cons of being in family business? The good thing is uh, you learn from your father, right? Mm. Yeah. The bad thing is you have to listen to your father. Mm. Different generations got different um, thinking, right? My dad feel that, well, we are seafood restaurant, you know. Yeah. Just focus on food. Mm. The place don't need to be so nicely decorated, mm. you know, service. But I, I, I see it in another way, see. Mm. Food, of course, is the most important. Mm. Then service, price and environment. Mm. So all these come together, come to play to, to give a good concept. Do you think crab is expensive because people like it? Or do you think people like crab because it is expensive? Wow. Wow, that's a very difficult question. Eh? To tell the truth, this is the lowest margin item in my menu, the crab. Oh. Yeah, if you use a normal pricing strategy, mm. this crab, um, not many people can afford. So you know Jumbo's menu, right? like, I think it's, it's roughly the same throughout the years. You all don't really jump on a lot of trends like uh, Mala, for example. Is that a conscious decision not to jump on all these trends? Because in, our restaurant is big, Yeah. right? The biggest is in East Coast. Yeah. We can sit 1,000 people at one go. Yeah. Because of the visitorship, a lot of them are tourists. To, to, to make it a lot of variety, it is not a critical success factor, right? But consistency is. We, we do try out new thing every quarter but the customer keep ordering back the same thing because they feel they come once a while right mm. so they feel that they want to try the best they, mm. they, want, they don't want to venture but I, I am quite confident that whatever is on the menu 
Mm. It's always very consistent in terms of taste and quality. Actually, which is the best part of the crab? Uh? This flipper is the best part. Uh. If you are not so hardworking, mm. this is the easiest part to eat. This in business is called high return. Minimum effort but a lot of meat. Mm. This one, not so high return, but the meat is better. It's very smooth, mm. very tender. You see, I, I eat this, I don't eat this. So rich people eat the flipper? No, I like challenges. Do, do you know what uh, clams do on your birthday? <laughs> You know, my birthday. Sorry, I give up. I, I when I eat, I, my brain cannot work. Sorry. That's all men. Eh? Hmm? Yeah, men. Also. I I don't know. Yeah, I cannot think. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my ladies colleague, coll colleagues told me that all men cannot multitask. Yeah. But I I beg to defer. But then I always fail. Because you cannot multitask. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think your staff know about about crabs? Office you... staff not many lah. Mm. I, I go and quiz them, Ken. Okay, by all means. If, if, I, if I know more than them, I, maybe I can get the job. I'll ask you later. Training program. Okay, okay. Mm. Right. How long have you worked here? Uh, I've been here for two and a half years. So whenever it's your birthday, do they give you crap? Uh, no. <laughs> Do what did give you crab stick? So you're in charge of admin, right? Do you are you in charge of giving the staff crab on their birthday? Sadly, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm in charge of giving ART. Do you ART the crab? No? Oh, sorry. So how do you know seafood? How well do I know mm. seafood? How many varieties of crab are there? In Jumbo. In the world. Oh. In the universe, Mars also. I don't know. What is a geo duck? Geo duck. Mm. Like a clam. What species of crab is this? What? Just crab. What species? Uh, I don't know what crab. It's a dungeness crab. How, how do you tell? The big head, the mm. body, the legs. Oh, this hermit crab. Mm. The next one is a close relative of the, the hermit crab. Huh? It's kermit crab. Oh, is that such thing? No. Oh, okay. How about this? What crab? Everything is a mud crab yeah. to you. <laughs> no, this is a stone crab. Oh. What species is this? Animated species. It's Mr. Crab. Mr. Crab? Yes! Mm. Finally, the first one you get correct. And it's a cartoon one. Mm. Okay, last one. Oh. Happy crab. <laughs> oh my god, what's this? This is cowboy crab. Okay. And when you see cowboy crab, you have to say ye claw. Ye claw. Eclaw. <laughs> <laughs> you you failed the test by the way. Oh, oh yeah, I know. I will, I will tell Mr. Ang. <coughs> they don't. Oh. Oh. How's the stuff? I think they don't really know all the crap stuff. <laughs> I, I went to show them uh <laughs> it should look a bit like look a bit like you. Is it? No 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 moustache, no beard. Right? You see you see like you, you smile. Okay. You see, you smile. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any final question? Yeah, uh, j j just not the crap. Can I, can, can I tap out the leftover? <laughs> Don't waste. Uh. Yeah, okay. Good, environmental friendly. Uh, how should you eat the instant? Wow, that's the best part, right? I, I always call it one made the jie jie. So imagine uh, this is all left sauce. Uh. Mm. So I put down the instant noodle. Wow. Then I toss it. I also get uh, one made the jie jie uh, at other jie. places. I think um, your Chinese is not so good. Huh? Yeah, it's really not that good.